All right. So first, could you tell me uh, real quick about your, your own personal background? I'm David Barsamian. I live in Boulder, Colorado, where I produce a program called Alternative Radio. It's a radical program that's broadcast on community and public radio stations throughout the United States and Canada. You can find out more about it at alternativeradio.org, alternativeradio.org. I feature such voices as Noam Chomsky, uh, Howard Zinn, Arundhati Roy, Vandana Shiva, David Corton, Richard Wolff, the, the kind of voices and perspectives that are avoided and not heard in the uh, corporate control media. Now, can you tell me um, how and when did you first hear about the Occupy movement in general? I heard about it on September 17th. 2011 when people occupied in Wall Street in New York and have participated in occupies all over the country. I've spoken in various uh, different uh, localities including Denver and Boulder and um, mo more recently Bellingham, Seattle and Tacoma and I'll be going to Olympia as well. Now as the movement has grown what's what's your uh, what's your take on it, your opinion, and what do you see in its future? It's the most exciting development in the United States in the last 40 or 50 years. There's simply been nothing like it. And it promises uh, the hope of genuine change and a restructuring of an economic system which produces enormous wealth and income inequality that makes a handful of people extremely rich while it's pauperizing uh, a great majority of the population. People don't have jobs, they don't have health care, they've lost their homes, they're underwater, uh, they're depressed, they're demoralized, uh, they, they've seen their life savings go up in smoke, uh, Social Security is now being threatened. Uh, Social Security, which is the most successful anti-poverty program in the history of the United States, is now under attack and is now being discussed for possible reductions. Now you just spent an hour here at Occupy Tacoma. What are your impressions of our local movement? Well, I think it reflects what's going on nationally. Uh, you know, it could be uh, a lot of different people come together. I was very impressed with the age diversity here. Uh, I think that's important uh, that the younger generation get some kind of historical perspective from people who have engaged in other struggles, be they the civil rights movement, the anti-Vietnam war movement, or the anti-Gulf war movement, uh, to leaven uh, their le information with important uh, historical past experiences. Now, going forward, do you have any advice you would uh, give to the occupiers? I would say to sustain this movement is very important because the only thing that power understands, the only thing that power responds to is heat, heat from the streets. Uh, they want us to focus on crime in the streets, which is marginal by the way, and deflect from crime in the suites, which is on a, at a spectacular level. That is to say, corporate malfeasance, skullduggery, chicanery, uh, insider trading, the kind of corruption that we've seen uh, that's led to this economic uh, collapse. So it's, it's very important that sustain movement uh, keep on in Tacoma, that Occupy Tacoma stays the course and does not get discouraged and understand that this is a marathon, it's not a hundred meter sprint. All right. Well, thank you. Anything uh, to say before you go? Visit alternativeradio.org. Support independent media wherever you are. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Adam.